Hey everyone, it's Eric with another edition of Ruck Thoughts, and today I'm kind of bringing up the hashtag Red Friday uh, butt end here of the day, but the thing that's kind of on my mind today is a question that was brought up by a chaplain this morning when we were out at the range, and it's one of those, it's a super difficult question uh, to, have, to ask anybody, but you know, when we're brothers and sisters in arms, it's a little bit easier uh, to ask somebody how I approach the job that I, the way that I do, uh, considering the fact of like my religious background and all this, all those other uh, morals, if you will, and he kind of also wanted it to help so he could tie it in not only to the cadets that we were training, but for his kids as well too, because they're looking to join the armed forces. And for me, and I would say quite a few of my brothers in arms as well too, and I say brothers because there hasn't been sisters in arms in the uh, Green Beret uh, realm yet, but not to say that there's not going to be here soon. Anyways, that's another subject altogether. I'm getting off topic. <laughs> Anyhow, um, one of the biggest things that I think that, uh, for me as a, an operator and now a former action guy, if you will, that I've used not necessarily to justify like what I've done, but to help, I guess, reason is when I've been overseas, it's not about romanticizing or fantasizing about combat. It's not about making it into glorifying war, if you will. Although that's still something that we have to be prepared to do. I mean, that that's the grit, guts, and glory about combat and you know the profession that we've chosen however for me i i think i've mentioned this plenty of times before is i i embrace the deo presso libera motto the and the quiet professional mentality that coincides with that and the deo presso liber motto of ours is you know freedom of the oppressed and essentially i broke it down to him sorry there's bugs here i broke it down to the uh, chaplain that you know we take care of those who can't take care of themselves and those who are being oppressed and they have no other means you know we provide a service to you know not only our nation but to our allies and you know it's tough when we have to deal with a lot of propaganda I mean we deal with propaganda in the United States I mean you know the news services that kind of have helped uh, paint bad pictures of us and so on and so forth but the biggest thing for me and you guys can feel free to comment as you want to is you know I look at it as you know if I was in that situation how would I want to be treated it's a golden rule style of mentality but you have to understand that it's a tough job too and you have to be able to look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and you know did you do the right thing and and that's the biggest portion of all of this is you know doing the right thing and taking care of those that you got to take care of and bringing your brothers and sisters back home in one piece and that doesn't always happen unfortunately but that's the goal and that's the idea so feel free to leave your comments as you want to um, obviously you can uh, follow all kinds of great things that I've got going on behind the background for me with whether it be the Green Beret Foundation mentors for military here and some of the other things and then you know I Obviously, I've got a lot of friends that, you know, veteran supporters and so on and so forth. And again, it's not only just about the veterans and, you know, Leos, you know, it's bringing everybody together and getting that symbiotic relationship. Anyways, have a great weekend and Rage Lead the Way.